yes, I certainly could have spent a long time doing a very elaborate, perfect contour drawing on this painting. But what I tried to concern myself here first with is what Vincent said. Ignore the drawing and get color, the right color in the right place. Now, you'll see on my painting here, very lightly, I guess, that I've drawn a grid on it that is uh, eight inch squares, okay? And I have here a printout of the original master copy with a grid that is exactly the same as the grid that is on the painting. You see, everything that we're doing when we're painting, whether we're trying to find color or we're trying to find line, it's about comparing, comparative decisions of one thing to the next. And so while this and this have a million things that are different between them, they have one important thing that is the same between them, and that is the grid. And I can use that grid to very easily begin to start to place these color shapes in their appropriate locations. And for me, the easiest way that I've found to do that is with pastels. You know, Delacroix used to draw with pastels on his painting all the time. And as what we're trying to experiment with here with this copy, and I'll paint on it again at some point in the future, is we're trying to avoid dealing with the line for as long as possible and working more in a sort of uh, all-encompassing color way. Okay, so I can certainly start to take some of these pastels here and say, well, where's, where's Mary's head really going to go? Because I've drawn it right there, but the truth is her head should be there. And this old man's head should be here. And the other guy's head should be here, you see? And I could literally start to just plop the right color in now the, the even more correct space and still be working in a very broad and expressive and enjoyable manner, okay? That's the only thing I wanted to say. Uh, I wasn't going to work on this any, any, for any long period of time because, again, we're uh, thinking about our model. Uh, and oh, well, I, the model's not showing up. Oh, okay. Uh, I mean, I, it doesn't look like the model's showing up, though I think uh, we... We we have actually we do have a model showing up so we'll, yeah. we'll be do going good here uh, and so uh, recap quickly Alex in two sentences two sentences when you don't know something figure something out <laughs> Wait, no that was terrible uh, I think that uh, well this is a this is an interesting thing it's called squaring up. And uh, the idea is that, uh, you know, like we like to say, we want people to get into the process. We don't feel, want you to feel like you have to achieve something before you can begin painting. And <laughs> so we're, 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 lo we're looking for ways to, to free you up, people. All right, very good. Uh, so what's the, what, what is the, past, you're throwing me off with the pastels now. You, you're putting the pastels on top of the oil paint. Yes, and, and it's absolutely, it's fine. Is it okay? Yes. Um, it's not uh, sort of kind of some sort of screwy operation? No, 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 no. It's uh, done before. Oh, yeah, yes, definitely. There is art but historical precedent for this. Is it, uh, but should something been done before uh, be something that we want to do today? Sure. Everything old is new again, right? Or can we do something new? <laughs> is anything new? Uh, well, anyway, we're open to that. Uh, the past, the future, the now. Yeah. Uh, that's what we're uh, potentially open to with painting. I'm a big fan of that. And yeah. uh, I, I, uh, I love to just uh, jump in uh, and sl slosh the paint around, uh, which eventually we will get to here. But we have uh, one more video before we get to our portrait. Yeah. Uh, a portrait of Fern. Right, we're yeah. at the Malibu we just uh, showed pier. Up. We're going to paint here. There it is. Here's our video. Lovely pier. All right. So uh, we're just we're just setting up. It's very windy. Uh, it, it could be it could be worse, uh, but it's 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 manageable. We got our windbreaker on. It will be all right. I do. I do.
we are, man. Ready to go. Blank canvas. Nothing but opportunities. Just igniting the canvas, as I like to say. Yes. It almost needs a, a longer perspective, the canvas. I know, like like a 10 by 30 or something. Yeah. A something. 1 by 3. But I'm going to try to get, I don't know, that house in there. Oh, you're going to sneak it in, huh? I'm going to try to. Yeah, I'm zooming in on mine. Mine's more of a zoom in, I think. Wibbly wobbly. Can't draw a straight line. Uh, I just, uh, I always like to say, go with the shakes, Alex. I do. I'm you gotta, you it. gotta go with it. I can't fight it. I can't fight this feeling Boy, this is fine tunage, man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at the concentration of your face. Boop, doop this is probably why some plain air painters have umbrellas. Yeah, I was thinking maybe... Is, if you had an umbrella in this wind, forget about it. Uh, it's going to blow all the way across no, the beach. You just got to deal with it, you know. It's, yeah. It's part, of the, it's part of the fun, actually. Yeah. Except for when you're filming, you're in the way. I know. <laughs> all right, well, we're, we're getting close to the end here. They definitely are. I mean, I'm feeling kind of like we're getting pretty close to the uh, uh, Yeah. It starts, it starts to make sense. Yeah. When the painting starts to make sense, there's a good chance that you could be done. Yeah. That's probably a good time to stop. Good time now. We're, we're live right now. Yeah, we are live. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun in Malibu. Malibu Beach Barbie. Well. In the house. I'm almost done, Alex. I know, me too. I'm feeling like uh, yeah. I'm feeling like I'm just. Well, shoot, uh, we're almost done. Uh, this is John Kilduff and Alex Schaefer. Good, good. Painting the town. Painting the town. Back to the studios. <laughs> Bye, folks.